www.thomasmitchell.com. Tanya? Nice to see. All right. Thanks, Scott. Well, it also, it always seems like there's a new quick fix to lose weight or a trick at the gym to burn extra calories, but a lot of those tips don't really help. So we want to break things down and get the truth. And Spencer Larson, one of the co-creators of 20 Second Fitness, is here with us this morning to debunk some of these myths. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Okay, so we're going to go through five myths. The first one is you need at least 20 minutes of exercise to see benefits. Is that true? No, studies are showing that results come from intensity. You know, for example, if we want to build a muscle, we want to build our bicep, we have to overload it. It has nothing to do with the amount of time you work out. The same goes for your heart, your lungs, and the cardiovascular system. And that aerobic overload is the most overlooked part of exercise, in my opinion. You're really getting to the point where you're exerting yourself. That's how you burn a tremendous amount of calories. Oh, maybe I don't need to go as long now. That yeah. might be some good news. Okay, second myth is you should eat after your workout. Yeah, so many people, you know, just thinking, I need to eat to replenish. But if your number one goal is to lose weight, which mm -hmm. that's why most people are working out, right. you need to wait. You know, wait an hour to two, an hour to two hours, and let your body burn the fuel that it has stored. You know, let it burn that body fat. Because ah, you put sense. the you put the calories in, the body's going to burn that simple food over the body fat. So okay. yeah, give it an hour or two, and then do a small snack. Keep your small, you know, snacks between you know 100 to 200 calories, so you're still burning that body fat. That one's hard. I'm always yeah. hungry right after I work out. Okay, third myth, uh, you brought some props to show us, and the myth is you can target fat loss doing core exercises, like losing belly fat with core exercises. So can you really target that fat loss? No, that's, you know, people always want to. Everyone wants a flat stomach. They want the six pack. And doing core exercises does nothing to help you lose stomach fat any more than, not good than us doing curls. So if we want to lose the body fat, we need to do exercises that incorporate multi-joint or our entire body. Because that's going to burn a tremendous amount of calories. It's going to burn the body fat. You know, one of the easiest ones is going to be an exercise like burpees. I'm not sure if we can see it. But, you know, you're standing here and you come down, put your hands down on the ground. You kick your legs out, come back, and then you reach for the sky or you jump out of it. And that's going to just incorporate a ton of, take a ton of energy, and it's going to burn a tremendous amount of calories. Okay. All right. We want to get through our last two. So our next myth is exercise does burn a lot of calories. You know, so many people just think, is, hey, I've exercised. They've burned a lot of calories. And it's not really true. The harder you work out, the more calories you burn. But, for example, we can take a 150-pound female, put her on a stair stepper. She's probably going to burn about 400 to 450 calories in the day. We look at the chocolate milk I brought here. There's two servings in it. There's almost 350 calories. So here's an hour on the stair stepper. So you need to just up that intensity wow. to burn the, the calories faster. Oh, man. When you think about it like that, it yeah. makes you stay away from the chocolate milk. Well, just, yeah, you really read your labels and keep those portions small. That, that's the key. Okay. And then lastly, strength training will make women bulky. Women are always afraid of strength training. Yes. Yeah, so, so many women are just afraid of doing the resistance training, strength training, because they think they're going to get, you know, look like a guy. And it's not true. And there's huge benefits to resistance training, because as you do resistance training, you're going to build some lean muscle. And the more lean muscle you have, the more calories you're going to burn throughout the day. And so it becomes less about watching what you eat just because you're burning more calories. And also, as I tell people, you know, fitness is freedom. The stronger you are, the more fit you are, the more you can accomplish in life, the more you can do. So, yeah, everyone needs to do some strength training to really burn those calories. So it actually helps you lose weight to do strength training. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay, that's good to know, especially for women. Thank that's you so right. much, Spencer, for all of the information. And we are going to be right back with a look at weather.